So this season coming up, we've, we've dubbed it Coming Home uh, for a variety of reasons. First of all, because all three of the plays that we've chosen deal with that as a sort of central theme, this idea of, of home and, and what it means to return to it. It's also kind of a nice reference to our company and our mission statement, providing an artistic home for Wisconsin's theater professionals and audiences, while also adding to the cultural and economic impact here in the Madison area. And this idea that we're a home for our audience as well as for all of the artists that work there. Of particular note is the final production of this season, Learning to Stay, which is our first commissioned play. Learning to Stay is about um, a young lawyer, Elise, who is awaiting the arrival of her husband who has been away at war. The play is about her discovery of herself, of her marriage, and ultimately realizing the person who she married is no longer the person that she married. It gives us a chance to look at people and the people that we knew before a catastrophic event occurs in their lives and how we rediscover them and how they rediscover us. It's a really big deal for us and for the community. We've, we've commissioned James DeVita to adapt uh, the book Learning to Stay by Aaron Solello. Aaron lives right here in Madison. Jimmy lives right here in southern Wisconsin. It's a very local story. It's, also set here in Madison. It's going to be really exciting to share this new work, this premiere with the city of Madison. Outside Mullen Bar. So it's two adult children living with their parents and living in farms that uh, they grew up beside each other their whole lives. And it's about how we define home, uh, what makes it a home, and what we look for in a home. Uh, there were several scenes that caught me one especially was uh, Anthony's scene with his father. The, the kind of honesty and heartbreak and intimacy that happens in that scene is, is wonderful. It's fantastic. Oh, I think that's my favorite scene oh, in the that. entire play. I haven't been able to get through it yet without yeah. crying. It's, yeah. It is. It's Neither. just one of those where you're like, oh, it's so, it's perfect. 4,000 Miles, it's a play, a relatively new play by Amy Herzog, which was nominated for a Pulitzer Prize. The play focuses on an elderly woman, Vera, who lives in a Manhattan apartment, and her grandson, who shows up on her doorstep one morning at three. We get the impression these are not two people who have spent a lot of time together, they are not only separated by that time since they've seen one another, talked to one another, but also by their generations. And that's one of the big themes of the play. One of them is growing old, and the other one is growing up. Subscribing is the best way to get a decent seat. Many, many of our performances sell out. Um, people who, who would like to have a, a good seat and a guaranteed seat for our production, subscribing is the way to do that. Because we have so many subscribers, not everyone can always have the, the, their most desired seating location. So we've added a new series, uh, Second Week Wednesdays, that's a brand new option. And so if you're looking to join forward for the first time, take a look at that because you'll be able to get some really great seats and lock those in for the whole season. We consider the Playhouse Theater to be our, our artistic home and you can always find us in there during the season.